I had this class behavioral psychology back in college. So I remember one day I was going to college for this class and I got late. Actually, I was the last person to enter the class. I quietly sat back in the, at the last bench in the room. I saw the professor, she was teaching that day about the differences between myths and facts. And she was having these different statements come up on the screen. Then she would ask all the children if the children thought if it was a myth or a fact. And one of the very first uh, statement was, the earth is flat. The professor turned back to the class and asked if that's a myth or a fact. All the children raised their hand and said in a unanimous voice, it's a myth. And then the second statement came up on the screen, which said a human can only use 10% of their brain. She turned back to the class and asked if that's a myth or a fact. All the students raised up their hand again and said it's a myth. Then the third statement came up on the screen, which said, you can be whatever you want to be. And the professor said, what do you think guys? Is that a myth or a fact? I looked around. The class was quiet for a few seconds. Nobody had raised their hands. Then very confidently, I raised up my hand. And the teacher laughed back at me. Do you really think that's a fact? And I still cannot forget her words. Till this day, she said, that's a myth, you cannot be whatever you want to be. And the professor then asked me, do you really think you can become whatever you want to be? And I said, yes ma'am. The whole class turned back and looked at me. The professor then asked me, can you tell me one thing, can you become a basketball player? And I said, no ma'am. She said, do you know why? I said, yes, because I don't want to be a basketball player. She replied, no, that's not the reason. You cannot become a basketball player because you are short. I thought to myself there could be a hundred other reasons for which I can never become a basketball player. But for me, the main and the only reason is I don't want to be a basketball player myself. The conversation kind of died there between me and my professor and she continued teaching the class by telling all the children that it's a myth if you believe that you can become whatever you want to be. Now it was kind of shocking for me because my whole life I believed I could become whatever I want to be if I put my mind to it and if I worked hard enough for it. So as the class continued, I tried searching on Google who has been the shortest player in the history of basketball game. And I came up with two names. One player whose name was Eddie Murphy Bogues, whose height was 5 feet 3 inches. And the other name was Spud Webb, whose height was 5 feet 8 inches. And he has also won in 1989 the NBA Slam Dunk Contest. To me, I thought, those two guys, they must have been told this hundreds and thousands of times by other people that they could have never made to the basketball game NBAs only because of their height. But they went through with it. Well, I did not get a chance to continue that conversation with my professor, but I wondered to myself, if I was tall enough to at least look like a basketball player, what would my professor have said then? Maybe she would have asked me, can you become a dinosaur? So today I'm gonna throw this conversation off to you guys. I want you guys to share this video in your organization, in your business, in your uh, company, or among your friends and ask them, What's their belief? Can they become whatever they want to be? Or is that more of a myth for them? And let's have a conversation. Please leave your feedback and tell me what are your thoughts about this story.